back into UIL Championship Spotlight as we now turn our attention to the Class 2A game. In a matchup between Harleton and Shiner, the bats were hot to start the game, but then came a two-hour lightning delay. Who would have the momentum once the game got going again? Well, let's turn to the film to find out. Oh, I dreamed about this whole game, and it was... It was running through my mind. I was nervous the whole time. We welcome you into Delft Diamonds in Round Rock for the Class 2A state championship here this afternoon as the Comanches of Shiner take on the Wildcats of Harleston. We knew we had a chance going into the, to the year that we had a chance to be pretty good. We just didn't know how good. Testament to these guys. They come to work every day, and we got better and better and better, you know, and here we are. I will say this about Harleston. They are battle-tested this year. Behind the county road, two is Peyton Murray. Murray, good rip into right. Gonna drop in for a base hit. It's gonna score a run. It may score two as the next one's held at third. It's one nothing Harleton. The Cowboys at two and two still one gone here for Cameron Johnson. Both runners now in scoring position. As Whiskey will send in the bunch needed two two. In the inner right, trying to track it as Booth is gonna drop in for another base hit. The throwback in is gonna be not in time. RBI signal for Cameron Johnson. The Wildcats have cracked this game wide open here at the top of the second. It's three to nothing. First ball that was hitting the gap, we were like, oh yeah, we can hit this kid. Nobody got on base, we just started rolling from then, and ain't no stopping us once we get to rolling. One, two. Wallace, good rip into right, trying to track it as Booth. It drops in front of him for a base hit. It's five to nothing. Another runner being waved around third, the tag at home, the throw not in time, and it's six to nothing, Harleton. Wildcats are rolling through an inning and a half into the bottom of the inning. We had to put up run somehow, so why not be in the second inning, you know? Obviously, it was really big to jump out on these guys. You know, Shiner's a great ball team, well coached. So we're ready to resume play here on the NFHS Network. Gavin Brewster alongside Trevor Fuller for the 2A state championship after a light delay that lasted over an hour and a half. We're back and ready to resume play here in the bottom of the third. Two on, two outs. Here is Keaton Haley. Good rip, pass short in the left. It's going to score a run as Keaton Haley is aboard an RBI. Should be a double as he's on his way to second. And Shiner is on the board here in the bottom of the third coming out of the, out of the delay. And here comes Carson shooting. There's Mitch shooting listed in the air to right center. Trying to track it as shirts diving. Catch can't make it. To score one. It's going to score two as Carson shooting drives it two with a two run single. And it's six to three. Shiner cuts the deficit in half coming out of the lightning delay. It's you know, we kept telling them, keep plugging, keep plugging, win innings. It's one of our goals that we have on our board, and that's to win each inning. Try to win as many innings as you can, whether it be by one run or whatever. Rip to the left side, it's going to be a base hit. Burbank waves around third, coming home is Correa. And extending the lead is Gage Schertz. 7-3 Harleton here in the top of the fourth. 1-1. One, one. It's way past Narada. Coming in to score from third is Sean Booth. On a pass ball, it's eight to three, Wildcats. Tanner Tate to third. It's the guy that moves to two and one on Cameron Johnson. Gets past Narada again. Coming in to score is Tanner Tate. And on two straight pitches, pass balls, and it's nine to three, Harleton. The Wildcats three outs away come the bottom of the inning. So we knew going into that, to that today, that we had our two seniors up on the bump, and we felt like we had a good chance. With runner second and two gone, here's the payoff pitch from Braden Hopkins. Narada in the other right, gonna track it. The out is made by Tate, and for the first time in school history, Harleton is the 2A state champion. It was just all around, it was a team effort. And we came out and we played the best of our ability and we got it done. I hope it means a lot to our community and our school. I mean, we work our butts off every day to show out and we just come out and do whatever we can to show what, who Harleton is and what we are about. That's hardware right there, baby. Let's, let's go. Oh, we're working yeah. everything. We're hard for it and everything. Let's go. Harleton making it to state in 2005 and in 2015, but wasn't able to bring home gold either time. Sophomore MVP Carson Wallace said it feels great to be a part of history and help his team bring home the school's first ever baseball state title. Congrats again to Harleton.